Well, hello, it is Friday and we are in slight chaos mode because Saturday is go time. I'm not gonna vlog today, but this is like fun prep, fun prep. This is prep for going away for two and a half months. Even though I'm only going away for four days, I know it's kind of weird. I'm going away for four days and then I'm going back away for the whole summer after, but Wait, I just wanna show you what I'm up to. This is the tote that I showed in the last vlog. So it is all packed to the gills with fun stuff, room decor, basically all my clothes for the summer except for like some shorts, uh, t-shirts, I have like no t-shirts packed because I'll still be wearing them, and then a bunch of toiletry, slippers, etc. This cooler here will be filled with all my frozen and cold stuff, again, later. And then over here, so because I'm just going for the weekend, this side is just the clothes that I need for the weekend but need to come back with me. Like for example, I don't want to ruin towels out there, so I've got my own towel, I've got pajamas, I've got like four shirts, and I've got room here for the toiletries that again can go out but have to come back. So then on this side is where I'm packing my dry food. Got a bunch of pasta, potatoes, like all my seasonings and stuff. And I need to get my rice together. I've got some breakfast drinks I'll bring out. I'll have to do more than this before I actually go out for the summer, but this will be a start. And then here's some other random things that I am going to pack. All very exciting, I know, but I think the most, I want to say exciting, the most time consuming thing that I'm going to be working on today, I'm going to start it now continue it on later is freezing, separating and freezing all my meat. So I got a bunch of bacon <laughs> and then in here I've got chicken, pork, beef, steaks, and then like, um, do, 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 like stir fry beef. So yeah, I did a, a, an approximation and I probably have about 48 meals there. So if I only do meat for dinner, that's like a month and a half. I do, so, uh, it's so hard to tell because I don't know what my schedule is going to be this summer. So in the past, I've gone off at like six, which is great because then you can cook dinner. But those were the last two pandemic years. So the years before that, I get off at seven or 7.30. And so I don't always like eating a big meal that late at night. So we might do like a big lunch and then just a, a lighter dinner. So we'll see, we'll figure it out as we go. But that is a solid start. I'll bring that all out. We have a huge deep freeze out in the staff house now. It is, I'm pretty sure it's the same size as this one, which is very full, which is a problem because I need to freeze my food. Um, I'm pretty sure it's about the same size as that one. Uh, and so I'll get everything in there. I'll get everything labeled and separated and all that fun stuff. And then, um, we should be good. And then when I go out at the end of June, I'll probably bring some more stuff just to top it up to get through. There is a store out on Blind Channel, 100%. Um, I just, it is cheaper to buy bulk in town and separate it and bring it out than it is to buy out there. Even though we do get a discount, like, you know, it's not crazy expensive, but it's just more economical, especially with this economy and <laughs> these prices. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'll be doing, like, one of these will probably be like at like four different meals i think because i cut it in half and then split it so we got we got lots and then there'll be other things that i want to bring as it gets closer but at least like this will be a solid start and then when i do come out at the end of june because i'm bringing my computer and some monitors <laughs> it'll be um nice to not have to bring as much food. Also, my friend goes in and out pretty regularly and we're in town regularly too, so my mom can always pick up some stuff and send it out for me if, mm, excuse me, if need be. Anyways, I should probably stop talking. Just wanted to share that. And then I guess let's just get into panic day vlogging <laughs> where I have to work and then finish packing and then drive to go meet up with a boat for Blind Channel. Good morning, it is Saturday now, and welcome to what's gonna be a crazy day. So first of all, my mom was supposed to work at eight today, and therefore I would've had to be here at like 7.30, but then she got a call yesterday to start at seven. So it's 6.30 and I just got to work. 
love that especially because i couldn't get to sleep last night because my room is so hot so like the joys of going to blind channel will be like saturday sunday monday tuesday four nights without a super hot room i'm so jazzed about it especially because we'll skip to like 20 outside which will be like 30 in my room probably amazing but that being said i'm a little tired a lot tired three hours of sleep under my belt i think last night not a fan not a fan but i do think that i've got everything sorted besides the small list of things that i have that i had to grab today like stupid things like remembering to grab my margarine from the fridge my french fries from my freezer in my room and then just like last minute charges and stuff i'm feeling pretty good about things and then i also I'm trying to be very proactive for Wednesday when I come back. So I have a pair of clothes to change into, a set of clothes to change into. Uh, so I can leave my work clothes here and my work shoes here. And then I also have uh, snacks that I'm leaving here that I can, you know, pick up and eat that day. So we're getting there. We're trying to be as organized as possible and I think we're doing all right. I also can't remember if I mentioned it yesterday because I don't remember if I knew when I was uh, getting everything sorted yesterday and when I was vlogging, but my boss actually has to come to town today. My one boss emailed me and was like, hey, can you go, um, well, he didn't say, can you pick this up? He said, hey, we weren't able to pick this stuff up today because it didn't come in time. The place that it's at closes at 10 a.m. Implying, can you get it? Well, <laughs> no. I'm like, I work until 11 or 12, and even if I could find a way to get somebody to pick it up, I don't have an, I don't have fridge space to store this because it's like deli meats and stuff. But then immediately afterwards, I saw a message from my other boss saying, hey, turns out I have to go to town tomorrow, so I can give you a ride. Which is nice because it means that nobody has to go their way to drive me to meet up with the boat. But... The plus side of that was I could get off work, I could grab something to eat, I could go home, I could get changed. Well, I'm changing here, anyways. Um, and I could sort of last minute things on my schedule. And then just as soon as I was ready to go, I could just jump in a vehicle and start going and give them a call saying I will be at the boat pickup point at X time. But no, that's not an option. I still think the, op the, the idea is probably going to be still to get out of town pretty quickly uh because you know he oversees the restaurant and the restaurant's pretty busy tonight so the sooner the better and um yeah fun times is basically where we're at but it should be good it looks like it's not too busy on the dock that doesn't make sense there's so many dinner reservations for not being busy on the dock. Wait, I recognize that name. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. I am going to go get myself ready for work now because the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave. And fortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have too much to do today, which is nice. And I'm just gonna set myself up for success on Wednesday. Ah, <sighs> chaos. But I do get to pet strudel later today, so I can't complain too much about the hecticness. Well, hello. Better? Um, it's home time. <laughs> I have changed into a different shirt. Um, is this gonna be a jerk? So we had, our server got busted, um, recently. Oh, sign in options, maybe? Can I go to there? Oh, there we go. I think. <sighs> Anyways, our server got busted recently, and so uh, last time I logged in, I had to log in like with... That is my name. That is my password! <laughs> Apparently I gotta do it again. And like last time I had to, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, last time I had to like 
get a, a code Ugh. and the nums lock isn't on <sighs> rage rage is high um anyways i am changed i have oop just happened i have ordered my food um to pick up at mcdonald's on the way home uh, i've ordered my my ride <laughs> ordered my ride text at my ride um and it's like everything is gone and then i'm gonna and then i'm gonna text my boss and let him know that i'm heading home and just see what his thoughts are on timing i really should have just like not i i should have done this first but i did not think that that would be such a pain okay we are logged out now so plan get in vehicle we'll leave theater get in vehicle go get food um go home text boss along the way go home pack up the last tech stuff that i need and then once i get an eta on go time at that point i will pack up my food well inappropriate time i'm assuming because there's a lot of people in the restaurant tonight i'm assuming he's not going to want to be in town super late which i hope not um but we will see i think i mentioned that earlier anyways we're gonna go we're just it's a mess it's a mess it's fine we're totally under control i'm just a bit of a mess well hello it is now oh i don't know what time it is <laughs> because the internet is out <sighs> it is 12 30. i messaged my boss just when i was headed home like i said i would and I asked, you know, when and where, and he said, I just have a couple more things left to do in town. I can come pick you up. So I guess he's gonna come pick me up, which is cool. <laughs> it is smoking hot in this room. Actually, it's been worse, but um, everything is packed. All my food is packed. My last minute stuff is packed. I always have like a little reusable bag that I put my last minute stuff in <laughs> and it's like full, full. <laughs> always. Um, but yeah, the internet's not working. It went down at about like three in the morning. <laughs> I know because I was laying in bed trying to get to sleep and I was watching a movie and then the movie died on me. Sad. Um, and I tried, I was like, maybe it's the router. So I restarted that this morning. Didn't work. Checked if there were any service outages. There aren't. <laughs> Came home, internet's still not working. Restarted the router again. So yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna vibe hope for the best. It's not really my problem because I'm going to be gone uh, for the next several days, but <sighs> we shall see. Anyways, I'm going to just vibe, I think, until it's pickup time. Hopefully my boss messages me when he's on his way here, just so I can like be ready. But if not, I just literally have to slip on my shoes and drag everything out to the truck. Alrighty, I just got the phone call. I just about fell asleep laying in my bed, like literally on top of this mess <laughs> anyways i think my boss is on his way now i kind of like wasn't really paying attention he said he should be here soon um so i'm gonna head downstairs pack this up pack this up <laughs> my external battery charger and um i will see you when i see you now on the road on the boat in blind channel i don't know well hello my hair is falling out after a bunch of running around we have made it to rock bay we are in the island sprinter <laughs> And we are loaded to go. I'm just not sure if my boss wants these propellers inside. I assume he does, so I just stuck them there. He just went to park the vehicle. We got my stuff. We got a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. And so it's about 20-ish minutes from here over to Blind Channel, give or take. And then we will offload. There's some uh, cooler stuff for the fridge that I'll probably have to deal with at some point in the near future, definitely today. Um, but I get to put my freezer stuff in the freezer as well. So we will, we will get there at some point. Um, but I'm just, I was wearing a sweatshirt because like we were in the truck and the AC was on. I'm dying now, it's like 21, 22 degrees out. I love it though, but, uh, but yeah, I will probably catch you in Blind Channel now. Fiery display of red and golden hues Like the day I fell for you So what will you do When the sun begins to fall I'm waiting here for you Won't you answer my call Don't you wanna get cozy with me We'll dive into a reverie
Well, it is 10 now and I'm climbing into bed because I'm exhausted. Um, I ended up not really picking up the camera because I got too much sun and so I've had like a massive headache all day. I think a little bit of heat stroke, so I've been drinking water and just chilling. My brain hurts, so I'm just gonna take some algae medicine too because I'm having a lunch reaction, of course, and go to sleep. So, um, it was we're here. I showed we like we're unpacked and mostly sort of got to decorate still, but um yeah, I'll uh I'll see you in the next one and good night. <laughs>